EA Sports and dropping crazy icon SBCs during Team of the Year. It just goes hand in hand. A lot of us save packs, craft a lot of upgrade packs, have a lot of fodder. So EA know we want to put it somewhere. So they drop some crazy icons. One rumor to be coming soon is this man right here. Cafu. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Now I am recording this pre-release of the SBC, so fingers crossed it is this version that goes live. He does also have a Thunderstruck version. Uh, and shout out to my boy Lucas for letting me try out this card on your account, bro. I really do appreciate it. But the card itself, 91 rated, Cafu in the building. 3 star, 4 star, 5 9, high medium. I've definitely used this base version before as well as the thunderstruck in draft i must have at some point i vividly remember using the thunderstruck one not so long ago so the base one we're giving an in-depth review here on paper just looks really solid the pace the defending the physicals no complaints whatsoever julian balance a little bit low compared to some of the fullbacks that i use on my other account so that'll be interesting to compare uh, we've got relentless play style plus not bad. I would have preferred maybe a jockey, a block, anticipate, intercept, but we'll take what we're given here. Trevella, you never know when you can get down the line and whip those in with a 44 finishing. Anything's possible and flair. So play styles are lacking, but let's see how good the card is anyway. Maybe he's going to be that good that it doesn't matter. We don't need play styles. By the way, Lucas's team is class. We've got Rafinha Evo. We've got Alvarez Evolution, which looks ridiculous, by the way. Like those stats are insane. And also, I believe this is Pep's legacy, Federico De Marco. By the way, in regards to the actual SPC price, I'll be in the comment section as soon as the SPC goes live. I'll leave it in the pinned comment, giving you my opinion on the price. The actual card price on the market as stands, I forgot to mention in the intro there. I believe he's around 650k. So reasonably priced for an icon of this kind of like stature which I'm a fan of. The guy's doing Marlon. Oh, bro. He's dropped, actually. He's gone down to below 600k. I'm assuming Team of the Year Panic is going to be big here. So the price of the car being like 575k, you'd expect the SBC, hopefully, to be somewhat a little bit less or at least very, very close. Fodder should be normally quite easy to obtain during Team of the Year. So EA might feel like they could juice it up a little bit more, but you'd expect and definitely hope it to be in that kind of like five to uh to 600k price range for it to be worthwhile but Cafu on the ball first real involvement we're just going to sprint might run into brick wall being havertz one thing i will say with my fullbacks it might be different to your kind of play style is i love getting them involved i love supporting the play overlapping bringing them inside when i can so i'll be doing just that in this review nice ball find our way to alvarez smash the back of the net this evo bro looks ridiculous big boy Cafu. let's have a little give and go overlap here gets it done in action Cafu's gone down the line. We're going to full send him. Come on, lad. We got the Travella playstyle. So you know what? Let's see if we can give it a go. Drift inside. Oh, just about to release it. A big verge gets his toe on it. Kamavinga out wide to Cafu. He thinks I'm going to run the line here, but we're cutting inside and we're feeling quick and cracked on the ball. And we fluff it. I didn't green it, to be fair. Probably should have gone for the outside of the foot shot. But you notice the physical to ride the challenge from VVD. He could have gone down and got the penalty, to be fair. But I don't mind the fact that he's a physical player and stays on his feet, creates the chance. But that's the issue with the 40-odd finishing. It's going to let you down there. Oh, we've made up for it. I was going to say, I've been done a little bit. I expected him to uh, to hit the wing and cross it with Havertz. But Cafu's quick. He's switched on and makes the challenge and delivers a fantastic crossfield ball to DeMarco on the other side. All right, big Cafu stride. Little give and go with Zidane, maybe. He's got space over the top. We're going to make that. Burge coming across. Just keep striding a little bit here. Fake shot. Bring it on the inside. Dribbling's very good, by the way. Boro, he's got the physicals, he beats the man and bags it, top bins. Cafu, yes now, 44 finishing is a lie. My boy moved quick there. I'm loving the fact that I'm kind of going like, or bumping into my opponent, but still coming away with the ball. That might be like the icon, you know, factor. A lot of icons have that kind of luck where 50-50s, it's bouncing off them, they're picking up the ball and coming away with it. But that is phenomenal, the finish as well. And now we're already going again, hitting the wing. Havertz, what can you do? Can you stop me? You cannot, lad. We're going to be drifting. Verge, see you later. Get sweaty. I should have been greedy, man. I should have tried Travella it or something. But Cafu is uh, impressing me so far. Get out to the boy Cafu. RBNA into Zedan. Fake shot. Back to the boy. I really want to get a Travella off, you know. But 
The dribbling feels really solid, really, really good on the card, super in control, and the RB dribbling is pretty quick. He moves at speed with that as well, which is a big, big factor, especially for fullbacks, I find. The main comparisons I'm going to be making here are going to be to the likes of the Evolution Lorente, Frimpon cards, uh, Dries James, also Carlos Alberto, however, I actually used in a review earlier with Zico. They're the kind of ones in my mind, fresh, and Kyle Walker Evo as well, I've got on the RTG, that I'm going to try and compare Cafe to here. But so far, he looks like a little combination of a fair few cards all combined into one. Like he's overlapping, scoring goals like the Rente would for me. Feels good on the ball, fast, quick flowing movement. Link up plays there, but he's got the physical side like a Carlos Alberto, like a Reese James, bit more defensive. So he's like the all round package for a fullback. Lack of play styles hasn't really been a factor as of yet. But um, if anything, it will just make the card that much better. And he's had enough. 2 0. He says bye bye. All right, game number two. Let's have it. Cafu. Phenomenal in game number one. Getting a goal, overlapping, solid defensively. I'm amazed on how good he feels on the ball. He's not super quick and snap, but he has that kind of presence about him where it's going to be hard to get bullied. Almost find his way through again there. Hey, we're out of position for bombing forward a minute ago. But he comes back. AI interception. Fantastic stuff. And now we can build up again. Little ball roll there. Let's just bill it to uh, whoever that is, Harry Kane for pace. Little give and go maybe with Joe Cole. Float that over the top. Cafu's gone. Big touchdown. Power into the box. Ball roll. Left foot. Okay, no. Yeah, okay. Weak foot is not there. Uh, and finishing combined. I should have done better. I should have been more composed. Ball rolled it and travelled. But I, I saw the goal open and thought he would bag it. We do have four-star skills as well, which is nice on a right back. The RB dribbling is so fl like flowy, fluid. I knew he had it in the locker, you know. I knew he had it in the locker. We wanted to get it, but we smacked the bar. The Travellers almost coming off. Harry Kane could be in. Cafu coming back across. Oh, it's just too easy for the boy. Cleanups there. I don't know how he's coming away with the ball, to be fair. A little press. Can we get out of this tricky situation? It's going to be difficult for us, but we managed to win the throw-in nevertheless. But that is fantastic tracking back. Doing his job, cleaning up and preventing the goal. Cafu comes in, makes the block. I tell you what, squeaky bum time. Our opponent's been very good. And in all honesty, he's going down the right-hand side or his left, which I'm a fan of because we can truly test out Cafu's defensive abilities. So far, he's been solid, but we need a goal and we need a lead in this one. And there it is. Travellers, I told you, honestly, they're broken in this game. And even a 44 finishing Cafu could do him. I love it. Kane thinks he's him, you know. Kane thinks he's him. Cafu says, no, you're not him. I'm him. Cafu switched on. Kane somehow gets his way through. But pacing back, we've got legs. He's going to cut back inside here. Yes, I knew it. Easy clean up for the big man. Oh, Alvarez. Julian Alvarez makes it two. That's got to be game, surely. This Alvarez Evo, by the way, if you've got him, you've got an absolutely insane card on your hands here. So Cafu Icon SBC, I fear if EA priced this correctly and he's around that 550k, you're going to see him in basically 95% of teams during Team of the Year because who doesn't want this card? He is the ultimate right back in this game. Like he's physical. Going forward, fantastic for the link-up play. Overlapping, the pace is there. The technical dribbling, like I was blown away with how good this man felt on the ball. With little ball rolls, physical side as well. He was bouncing off players, keeping the ball. That's the icon luck. And then he bagged two goals for me. One was a Travella, one was just top bins for the sake of it with a 44 finishing. Just a fantastic card. And I tell you what, if you overlap, Relentless Playstyle Plus could be overlooked. I would definitely think more defending playstyles would be nice here. But if you're overlapping, bombing up and down the whole time, this man's not going to tire, which is amazing. I think he's fantastic, man. For the price right now on the market, what, 560k? He's 100% worth it. So hopefully EA do us justice. As I said, I'll be in the comment section as soon as the Icon SPC goes live, uh, giving you my opinion. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. I'll be more soon. I'll catch you later.